Former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot was hired by uh, the trustees in Dalton, Illinois, uh, to assess the state of the finances of this South Suburban town. Well, she left the residents dumbfounded after revealing her findings of an investigation into Mayor Tiffany Henyard's alleged egregious abuse of misuse of funds. Dalton trustees hired Lightfoot as a special investigator to investigate the allegations against the mayor. On Thursday night, Lightfoot revealed to residents the extent of Henyard's alleged misuse. Lightfoot stated that in April 2022, Dalton's general fund balance was $5.61 million. Not now. This has been um, a challenging um, investigation, to say the least, because we have not received the level of co cooperation <clears throat> from uh, the mayor and her team that I would have hoped. Um, nonetheless, we've had, um, I think, a breakthrough that's allowed us to be here in front of you today to give you the information that I know that the trustees for sure and, and the members of the public have been seeking for some time. Uh, many of you know that the uh, village's fiscal year runs from May 1 to April 30th. So it's a, um, those 12 months, but they spanned two years. Um, certain financial disclosures are mandated under state law that the village reports to uh, the comptroller of the state each fiscal year. Um, the two documents that we're gonna talk specifically about are the annual financial report, and you see the citation there, um, it's a state law, and the audited financial statements. The village has not and let me repeat that. The village has not complied with these statutory requirements since fiscal year 2021. There's no annual financial report available after 2021 and no audited financial statements um, uh, after 2021. So what that means is the information that we're providing you has not been thoroughly audited by a CPA, but we do have information coming from an, uh, an entity that essentially serves um, as the finance department um, of the village. <clears throat> Historically, from what we can tell, the village has had small or no um, full-time financial staff. Um, at various times, even though statutorily um, there's a provision for a city treasurer, none exists and hasn't for some time. There's a provision for um, a finance director. There's been intermittent people that have served that role, but that role has been vacant as of May of this year. And before that, the person who held the role started working part-time as of the end of December in 2023. So, as of um, May 30th of this year, the village's general fund was in a net deficit position, meaning that there is um, insufficient funds in that um, general fund. As we mentioned, the general fund is used to account for the majority of the village's day-to-day -day, um, operations, including payroll and vendor payments. The village's special revenue fund and debt service fund, however, are in a positive position, but each of those funds are restricted funds, meaning you cannot borrow from one to give to the other. And that is what's causing, in part, uh, the financial crisis. What's next, you can see, is um, a graphic that depicts where we started as of April, where the village started as of April of 22, with positive of $5.6 million in the general fund, and where we are as of um, May of 2024, which is a negative $3.65 million. Mayor Leifel, if I may. Yes. Just kind of as a summary now, just quick numbers. So in a two-year span, we're talking about a $9 million swing or $9 million of deficit over that course of time. Would that be yes, most sir. accurate? Yes, sir. Folks, uh, joining us right now is Kiana Belcher. She is a trustee uh, for the city of Dalton. Uh, trustee uh, Belcher, glad to have you here. So, all right. So th this report, was it delivered in the council meeting or was it delivered in this secondary council meeting y'all have because uh, Henyard controls the actual council meeting. 
Um, the report was delivered in a special board meeting. A special board meeting, as long as it's called by three trustees and we have a quorum, we can move forward with conducting business. So it was um, sent to every member of the board and it was a special board meeting held at the Dalton Park District because once again, we have been locked out the village hall. So you had a surplus, now you're in a deficit. What the hell is her response? Um, right now, uh, we don't have a response from her. Um, if you've been watching or anybody has been watching over the last three years, we've been requesting information. We've been locked out of our uh, my viewpoint, which is the account for transparency of where invoices and receipts go. Um, we kind of had an idea that we were in bad shape. But to see those numbers revealed last night was gut punching. It was sickening and it just um, was a hard pill to swallow that um, a group of people have put us in this uh, financial debt. Say a group of people. Uh, when 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 she was on this show, she claimed she knew nothing about this foundation. Then we found out that everybody who was tied to it uh, had a direct relationship with her. One guy worked for the city as well as for the township. Uh, he's been indicted uh, by by the feds. Uh, and so, um, I mean, you know, what does that tell you uh, that she will brazenly lie like that? Absolutely. She has been lying to the residents all the time. She's a recalled mayor. She has been recalled. Um, she kept promising things to people. Um, she was doing things without board approval. Um, keep saying that there was a $6.8 million grant and all these grants was coming when we knew that, um, well, we had an idea that none of those funded that m those funds had been deposited in the account. She's a habitual liar. She can't help herself. When you say that um, she's been recalled, what does that mean? Um, the village of Dalton went through a recall process um, at election in 2022, and the residents recalled her to try to put her out of her seat. Okay, that was in 2022. This is 2024. Yes. What, what, what happened? Was it a new election supposed to be scheduled? Um, our next election is not until February of 2025. So she was able to retain her seat um, as the elected mayor until her term is up. How? But she was recalled. I'm confused. The judicial system sometimes doesn't work in our favor. Uh, they said it was based on the technicality that you couldn't place a recall and the mechanism and recalling her at the same time. But it was obviously obvious that the citizens wanted her gone. Wow. Um, so she hasn't responded to this report about Mayor Lightfoot. Um, first of all, the report by Lightfoot, that, that, that's been paid by the city of Dalton, correct? That will be, yes, that's correct. Okay. Um, and um, so she's offered no response thus far, huh? No. And what amazes me is that um, on Monday's meeting, while we had discussions about laying people off because um, since we have been getting some contact with the CPA, which they were at a, uh, one point not giving us information, they were saying we had to do hard cuts. We had to cut back on spending. Um, we made provisions to get uh, the spending for the credit, uh, credit card uh, for, froze. Um, we put a limit on it. So we have started taking actions to try to stop some of this bleeding. But she came to the meeting with two federal criminal attorneys. So if you're not doing anything wrong, why would you be coming to a municipal meeting with federal attorneys? So um, what's next? Um, the, the preliminary, this was a preliminary report. So there's more work to be done um, from Mayor Lightfoot. And then uh, all of the information will be, well, the information that we have have been turned over to higher authorities. And we're looking to see if there's anything criminally that we can move forward with pressing charges. All right, then. Well, um, Trustee uh, Belcher, we appreciate it. Keep us updated. Thank you so much for having me, Roland. All right, thanks so much. We talk about blackness and what happens in black culture. We're about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. There's a lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it, and you spread the word. We wish 
to plead our own cause too long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, raise $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Check some money orders. Go to P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037-0196. The cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com. 